Okay, so today we're going to look at a couple high-end oil filters. The Freem Ultra XG2 oil filter and the Amsoil EA011 oil filter. You can get the Freem Ultra oil filter at Walmart for $7.96. And you can get the Amsoil oil filter at Amsoil.com for $19.60. And these two are going to duke it out. Could get rough, folks. When the dust clears... Let's we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. It looks like it's half up now. So you gotta so you go. Get nice and tight. Get your hammer here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, let's start with the AMS oil and we'll start with the box. 99% efficiency. The AMS oil is at 20 microns. You guys, nice little picture here. Okay. And right here, produced in the USA. Nice flag. All right, let's open her up and see what she looks like. They got her in some plastic. Take this plastic off. This isn't nice to have it in plastic because they keep it nice and clean. Hopefully there's no moisture trapped in there, but we'll see. 25,000 mile oil change interval. Which I don't see how you can do that without changing your oil. But, okay, here's the date code. This is a, it's a long one. So it's just these numbers right here, actually. 040521C, product of USA. They got a nice coating on here. It's nice. This is a sticker. Okay, she has five inlet holes. Let's see the O-ring. Ooh, this is on here, folks. I'm assuming this is a nitro rubber O-ring. Boy, it's on there. I, I don't have the fingernails to get it off. I'd break my nails, I think. I'll try and get it off after. But that looks like a silicone any drain back valves. Metal core with louvers. And it looks like a bypass valve down below. We'll see when I open it up. It's got a nice amount of threads on it. Okay. Boy, this O-ring is really on here. All right, let's try the Frame Ultra. Also, look at the box. Dual layered synthetic media provides over 99% dirt trapping efficiency. Silicone anti-drain bag valve protection up to 20,000 miles. Another one, I don't see how you can do that without changing your oil, but, you know, I like to change my oil and my filter at the same time. I didn't even open this box up, so, let's see what she looks like. Okay, the frame all just got this coating on the top, the dome end. And let's see if we can find a date code here. Usually it's right there. A11231. Okay, and the Fram Ultra has three, six, eight inlet holes. Oh, yeah, nitro rubber o ring. This one comes off real easy, folks. So you have to be careful with that one when you're taking this filter. Uh, make sure it don't get stuck on the block. I see a metal core with holes. Looks to be a bypass valve down below there. Yeah, nice amount of threads. And it's also got the silicone anti drain back valve. So let's compare these guys. Mm, the one, three m has got a little more holes, but they're smaller holes, so. The O-rings match right up. Yeah, they're the same size. Three m might be a 
frame is a little bit taller. Well, you know what, folks? Let's open these babies up. They feel about the same weight. We'll see. Let's open these babies up and uh, see what's inside. Be right back. Okay, let's start with the AMS oil. The AMS oil weighs 15.2 ounces. Fram Ultra weighs 15.7 ounces. Okay, we'll try the base plates. AMS oil, 6.5 ounces. And the Ultra, 6.3 ounces. We'll look at the O-rings. You can see the AMS oil right here on my right is a little bit bigger. A little bit thicker. And it fits on the base plate better too. And both both base plates are similar in threads. You know, I don't know the holes. Like I says, the holes are. I I think there's probably a little more flow with the ultra. Just two more holes. They're kind of elongated holes, so they're probably about the same size. So I'll give this a tie, I guess, to tie it up. Okay. And anti drain back valves. They both got silicone anti drain back valves. But you expect in a filters that cost this much. And how do they fit? Well, let's try the. This one works pretty good. Seems to fit nice. It's a little loose. And the frame ultra just goes like that. It's also a little loose. But they're snug when you put them. You know, when you put them inside, they get snugging up because they go like that. So, okay, they're both good. Now, uh, filter media. Let's weigh these two. 4.4 ounces for the AMS oil. And 6.1 ounces for the Freedom Ultra, a little heavier. Let's go, let's go, actually, let's go to these leaf springs. They both got stamp leaf springs with a bypass valve down below. The AMSO has got a bigger leaf spring. Let's see if there's a weight difference. 0 0.5 0 0.4, yeah. It's a little bit difference. And the AMSOIL bypass valve is set for 15 PSI. And the frame bypass valve is set for 12 PSI. So that's what these look like. They're they're both, you know, they're very similar. This one's not much, not much bigger. It's a, it's a little bigger. Okay. And the cans, yeah, the can I. I believe the can goes to the AMS oil because it was harder to open up. So I think it's heavier. 3.6, 2.6, yeah. You can, I can feel it. I'll measure them. Yeah, the AMS oil is 0.7. Five. Yeah, you can tell there's a, definitely a thickness. You can feel it. Okay, let's see. Filter media. I counted 41 pleats. I got a little sloppy here with the glue. I got a seam right here. It's not even crimped. I don't know why. There's a little crimp on it, but it would probably stay together anyways. Yeah, because it's all 
I don't know, it's something's like crimped down below there, see it? Oh, it's, it's crimped together like that, but there's no metal per se sitting on it like this, you know. But yeah, like I said, 41 pleats, it's a synthetic media. Glop, sloppy here too. And it's rated for a 99% at 20 microns. Nice metal end caps. And how about the Fram Ultra? Fram Ultra, I counted 36 pleats. It's got a metal crimp seam. Yeah, it's, it's bigger on this side. I just noticed that. It's smaller on this side. Oh no, because it goes down there. I'm looking through the camera lens here. It's messing me up. <laughs> but they don't crimp it very good. You can barely see the crimps. It's like barely crimped on. This will probably come off when I when I cut this filter open. Mesh. You can see the difference in size. The Amzo is a little bit shorter. Yeah, I don't I don't understand that. I I would. I would, I don't know, it could, it should, be, it should be crimped, if you ask me, a good crimps too, not, this one ain't crimped good either, but, well, I say we uh, cut these babies open, my money goes on the Amsoil for being longer because it's got 41 pleats, what do you guys think? I'll be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the frame is actually longer than the AMS oil. The frame is 61 inches long. And the AMS oil is about 57 inches long. I'll show you why in a minute. I'll zoom out here. Okay, and you got your seams, and both manage to stay together. The filter media on this AMS oil is a lot softer than the Fram, but you know, they both got the same micron rating, so it really don't matter. But I took these little samples, and the wire mesh, or the wire backing, sticks more to the, Fram, uh, to the AMS oil. And you can see it's got a dual dual layer here. I mean both filter meters are very very well made on these. And the frame also it's got a dual dual backing or dual dual filter media I should say with a it's got a shiny metal backing. But you know doesn't matter. They're both strong. You ain't gonna rip these. These ain't gonna tear, you know. There's no way they're gonna tear. And like the filtration numbers, they're 99% at 20 microns, so they're they're equal. They're both very well made. And the reason the frame is actually longer is because of the center tubes here, the center cores. See, the AMS oil is fatter, it's thicker, it's fatter, it's wider. And here, so you got longer, longer pleats going this way. You know, from here to here so that's why you got even though this one has more pleats these are longer pleats so you got more filter media bypass valves they're pretty pretty evenly I'd say you know as far as quality goes they're you know the Amsoil might be a little bit better base plates too that's pretty equal the can I would give to AMS oil. The metal core I'd have to give to uh, Fram because of the holes instead of the lures. And there's a size difference. You got a little, you know, these, this is narrower too. So you got, actually got more filter media on the Fram than you do on the AMS oil. Now this filter, the Fram, cost $7.96. The AMS oil cost $19.60. 
$19.60 versus $7.96. I think I'm going to go with the Fram. Um, they're both, I would say they're both equally as good, but why pay almost more than twice as much actually for the AMS oil? I just don't see it. And unless you get on their program, you still ain't going to save that much money. You're still going to be cheaper on the AMS, on the Fram. So I would go with the Fram any day. These are a lot easier to get to. Just go to your Walmart store and pick them up. They always have them. So what do you guys think? Which one would you take? Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget about Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.